Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today will just be a quick update video on Unreal, because as you may have seen, when I was doing the video on Blender on the M1 Mac, I also showed off Unreal, and I showed an issue I was having with it. So this is an update on how to fix that issue that I was having, which is a lighting issue on this new computer. It was actually a pretty simple fix, I just had no clue about it until now, and it's actually caused me about a week of trying to figure out how to do it, so about an hour to a day, and finally I figured out the issue. So I wanted to do a little update video on how to fix it, just in case if anyone else was having this same issue as me. So right now you could see that what the issue is. It was this weird purple green lighting in Unreal and I tried go I would go into Unlit and it would be fixed, but that wasn't really a solution because I'm not having any lighting when I'm going into Unlit. But everything else in Unreal did work. It was just this lighting and it was really starting to annoy me because I wanted to do some things with it, but haven't been able to. So I can finally start working on this mini game again, learning Unreal, now that this issue is fixed. So to fix this issue, go into the settings and then go to preview rendering level and then go to iOS. It's a very simple fix and it will probably take longer for you if you haven't done this before, but because I've already tested that, this out to make sure that it would work when I was showing you guys, I had it render way faster. So here is how it is. This is way better than that other way before. I don't know exactly how if it compares to the metal shading, but it definitely fixed the lighting issues and makes it doable, makes it playable, makes it everything again. So I'm really happy to have figured this out. And that basically does it for this video. I was just mainly showing you this quick fix for Unreal because I've been having a ton of issues with it and it's really annoying me. So I hope this was helpful if you were having the same issue. One other thing to know is that if that didn't completely fix it, then you can go into project settings under platforms and then Mac, and you can hit force 32-bit rendering thing. This could help if this didn't necessarily fix all your issues with graphics. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful, and bye!